Well, this is a big earnings week with some of the largest tech companies reporting. Microsoft, Meta, and other heavy hitters are reporting in the next couple of days, but there are more earnings and economic reports to watch for. For more on what to watch, Yahoo Finance reporter Josh Schaefer is here. All right, we got the logos on the screen, Josh. What are we watching for? Brad, if we are doing an excitement meter, we have reached that part of the quarter, my friend. We've got over 160 S&P 500 companies reporting this week. Lots to break down in terms of markets and what it could mean when we think about these individual reports. You're seeing on your screen here, we've got Meta, we've got Microsoft, we've got Amazon. Lots of big tech names. Going to be curious what we hear about AI, of course. Also, cloud spending in terms of Amazon and Microsoft. Also going to be interesting to hear from GM and Ford. This will be their first earnings release since that strike started. Now, of course, the UAW auto strike wasn't really taking part for most of the quarter that we already saw happen, but we should get a lot more insight on those earnings calls. Also going to take a look at Chevron and Exxon on Friday. Going to be interesting to hear what rising oil prices mean for those companies. And then when you take a look at the economic calendar this week, it's a little bit of a softer schedule, but a couple big releases for the economy this week. We're going to get that Q3 GDP reading on Thursday and a PCE index reading just before the Fed meets next week on Friday. Two key things to watch there, of course, we're looking for inflation, core inflation to be coming down. It's expected to come down. And the economy supposedly grew, if the estimates are right, at 4.3%, the highest quarterly growth since Q4 of 2022. So we're looking for a big number on Thursday. I don't think that will surprise many people in terms of the hot economy story, but perhaps just another sign of how good that economy really was through the summer. The final thing, guys, that I want to leave you with that I really just think is important to think about this week is thinking about that Magnificent Seven reporting and what it could mean for the S&P 500. We've got four of those companies reporting this week. We know that's been a large driver of the index. Can that AI story, can tech earnings give a bump to stocks is one thing I'm watching this week. We know it's been all about yields, but could good tech earnings maybe give some upside or downside to the market is one thing I'm gonna be watching this week. Hopefully it's some upside. We need a little bit of uh, better news here in the market as news. of later. All right, Josh, you, I know, you certainly have a busy week Anything. ahead, so we're going to let you go. Josh Schaefer, thanks so much.